Welcome back to Kung Fu Maintenance, where I show you how to make the most likely repairs you'll need to make in your lifetime. If you'd like to get the latest videos, subscribe and then hit the little bell icon right at the subscribe button and it'll notify you of any new videos when they're released for you. Welcome back to Kung Fu Maintenance. Well, I recently made a video showing you the boroscope endoscope test review, and it was a win-win, but I had a little problem uh, when I put the new program in. Uh, all of a sudden my regular camera wouldn't record anymore so I'm gonna to cut to the what happened and a little bit of the troubleshooting there and gonna kinda of skip through pretty quickly to the answer if your phone uh, if your phone camera won't record anymore what you can do what you should do first okay had a downfall on the the project program see I lost some footage see how I hit record and it shows zero zero nothing's working so unfortunately that app seems to have froze my regular camera. It wouldn't even clear out. My fault, not the app's um, fault, just to be clear. So it doesn't You'll even see. store Cut. the footage. I had seen a, um, kind of sucks too, because I had seen a baby coyote or a coyote puppy right in, really close and recorded it and thought that I was recording it, but it didn't get t saved to my gallery because that, see nothing showed up on the, what I just recorded. Um, this was when I had done right before uh, the whole thing happened, and so yeah, I'm gonna have to uninstall that program and see if I can find something else that'll work. So that's the downside. Figuring that out. <laughs> All right. Yep, so I went kind of crazy on this one, uh, going in and changing the programs, deleting programs, trying to figure it out. Um, I did find a better camera program, what I thought is a better uh, camera for the for the um, boroscope, which is called Scope Cam. Uh, it seemed like a, a better app, no ads on the screens. But I wanted to spare you all that trouble. Before you go in and change programs, just try the most simplest thing, which is right here. Don't like it at all. Um, oh, you know what I should have tried is just the most simple things of all is just to restart the camera. I mean restart the whole phone. Sounds silly, right? But sometimes, uh, you know, you wind up charging your phone and charging your phone and charging your phone and you're not really powering it off and, and restarting it. So, here it goes. Sometimes you gotta try the simple stuff first before you get really complicated. Okay. Weird on the stove here. They just changed the way the, the lighting is lit. Gone with this. It seems much brighter. Although you have something that matches, it doesn't exactly match the the green. The old ones were green rather than the light there. But Okay, my phone is back on. We powered up. And so let's go back into the camera. Hey, that's what it was. Okay. So, so maybe it wasn't even the uh, project program. Yep, this is a simple one, just resetting the camera, you know, making sure you turn it all the way off and then turn it back on. Sometimes there's things that happen with booting or, uh, you know, installing or updating programs. And especially when you've done any updates or installed any new programs, it's a good idea to power off the phone and then power it back on, you know, restarting the phone. And sometimes that can fix uh, problems with a particular program that was working before and all of a sudden has stopped. Sometimes uh, there's certain functions that happen, happen during the shutting down and during the restarting of the phone. So it's kind of always the first thing to try before you start going through messing with settings or deleting programs in order to restore function of the phone. And it's kind of the same with computers and, and other uh, I, you know, electronic items as well. There's sometimes a few bumps in the road and those are some of the first things you can try before going crazy like I did and doing other things. But anyway, life goes on, right? There's always a few bumps in the road, helps create some traction, helps keep you on the road. 
just a reminder to slow down sometimes and think things through or do a YouTube search that or a Google search. A lot of times you can find answers to a lot of the things that you go through just by searching through it. A lot of people sharing uh, things that they've figured out and that's what I like about YouTube and Google and uh, you know the, the ability to share information. Just like this one. Hope it spares you some trouble and uh, Hope things work out really nice and good for you, and uh, wish you much success. All right, hopefully that fixed your camera. If you were having uh, trouble with your particular camera, if not, leave a comment in the comment section below. A lot of people have other insight on fixing things, and a lot of times you just by sharing around in the comments below uh, can give answers and find answers to some of the things that happen. Uh, I hope to be bringing you a bit more on the boroscope endoscope camera uh, in the future. Going to be uh, making a rig for using it to kind of protect the USB port and a bit more on that uh, coming up. Links in the description below for all the parts. I make a small commission on anything ordered through there. Help support the channel. Thanks for watching. Come to me. It's over now.